Hello everyone, this is Mazhar Ali and today I am going to discuss to you the artificial intelligence cycle. Human beings are good at understanding, reasoning and interpreting knowledge. And using this knowledge, they are able to perform various actions in the real world. But how do machines perform the same? This is the question. In this video, we will learn about knowledge representation in AI and how it helps the machines performing reasoning and interpretation using artificial intelligence in knowledge representation, different types of knowledge, and cycle of knowledge representation or cycle of artificial intelligence. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon that you may get future notifications of my talks and lectures. So let's discuss the knowledge at first that what is knowledge. So facts, information and skills acquired through experience or education and etc. is basically knowledge. The theoretical or practical understanding of a subject provide you knowledge. Durkan refers to it as the understanding of a subject area. So we get knowledge through experiences. We get knowledge through information and skills which we acquire time to time. For example, there are different uh, fields which provide you knowledge uh, like the medical field, engineering domain, computer science, business domain, social sciences, and other domains uh, that provide you lots of knowledge. There are different types of knowledge like procedural knowledge, declarative knowledge, structural knowledge, holistic knowledge, meta knowledge. So procedural knowledge uh, is responsible for the knowing how to do something and includes rules, strategies, procedures, and etc. So it provides a set of directions of how to perform certain tasks, for example, how to drive a car. Now, in this um, uh, way, we have to learn the procedures, the rules, the steps to drive a car. The other one is the declarative knowledge. This knowledge describes objects rather than processes. Like in a procedural knowledge, it defines the processes, or rules, but in the declarative knowledge, it uh, uh, defines or describes the objects. So it includes concepts, facts, and objects. And expressed in a, a declarative uh, sentence, it tells about situations. For example, it is a sunny today, or it's a cloudy today, and cherries are red. Another type of the knowledge is the meta-knowledge. So meta-knowledge means knowledge about other types of the knowledge or knowledge about the knowledge. For example, the knowledge uh, that blood pressure is a more important for diagnosing a medical condition than eye color. Heuristic knowledge is also type of the knowledge. It's the rule of thumb. So it uh, represents some expert knowledge in the field or subject. For example, if I start seeing shops, I'm close to the market. So heuristic knowledge is the empirical is uh, opposed to deterministic knowledge. Then the, the structural knowledge, it describes structures and their relationships. Therefore, it is a basic problem solving knowledge that describes the relationship between concepts and objects. For example, how the various parts of the car fit together to make a car, or knowledge structures in terms of concepts, subconcepts, and objects. So knowledge representation in artificial intelligence describes the representation of knowledge. Basically, it is a study of how the beliefs, intentions, and judgments of an intelligent agent can be expressed suitably for automated reasoning. One of the primary purpose of knowledge representation includes modeling intelligent behavior for an agent. So there are multiple approaches and schemes that come to mind when we begin to think about a representation. So for example, pictures and symbols are very good way to represent the knowledge. So we can represent the relationship between individuals in a family using a picture. 
we can easily see that pictures are best suited for recognition tasks and for representing structural information however pictorial representations are not very easily translated to useful information in computer because computers cannot interpret pictures directly without complex reasoning another type of the representation is uh, graphs and networks so graphs and networks allow relationships between objects entities to be incorporated for example to show family relationships we can use a graph we can also represent procedural knowledge using graphs for example how to start a car then numbers numbers are also source of representation because numbers are, may be translated easily to computer representations so friends knowledge representation and reasoning represents information from the real world for a computer to understand and then utilize this knowledge to solve complex real life problems like communicating with the human beings in natural language so knowledge representation in ai is not just about storing data in a database it allows a machine to learn from that knowledge and behave intelligently like a human being now i'm going to discuss the ai cycle that is the topic of my today's lecture so let's look at knowledge representation and reasoning which are important aspects of any artificial intelligence system and of any computer system in general so if you look here there are different steps starting here from perception then learning then knowledge representation and then reasoning now knowledge representation and reasoning are interconnected with each other and after this planning step comes and then the execution so this diagram is showing how an artificial intelligence system can interact with the real world and what components help it to show intelligence ai system has perception component by which it retrieves information from uh, its environment the learning component is uh, responsible for learning from data captured by perception component this one in the complete cycle the main components are knowledge representation and uh, reasoning these two components means knowledge representation and uh, reasoning are involved in showing the intelligence in machine like humans these two components are independent with uh, each other but also coupled together so the planning and execution depend on analysis of knowledge representation and reasoning so friends let's describe each step briefly so first step is a, a first component of uh, artificial intelligence cycle is a perception this block helps the ai system obtain information about the surroundings using various kinds of sensors and makes the ai system familiar with the environment to interact efficiently according to it so if we uh, want to develop the intelligent system or a robot so it will first interact with the environment and it will get information from environment through different types of the sensors therefore an ai system has a perception component that allows the system to get information from its environment as with human perception this may be visual audio or other forms of sensory information the system must then form a meaningful and useful representation of this information internally ai can able to sense typical structured data or other forms of data like video taste audio time temperature or any sensor centric input so after uh, perception because when system or ai system or intelligent system or a robot will get the information from environment then the learning process will be started because learning starts when we get information from different sources so this block is used to help the ai system run the learning algorithms for making the ai system transfer the required information from the perception block to this is the perception block means perception means perception block to the uh, learning block 
and this is the uh, learning block for learning and understanding. So learning component learns from the captured data, which is captured through the perception block. It means what the uh, information was acquired through perception block from the environment that is sent to learning block and learning block learns from the perception. So the goal is to build computers that can be taught instead of programming them. Learning focuses on the process of self-improvement. In order to learn new things, the system requires knowledge acquisition, inference, acquisition of heuristics, fosters searches, and etc. After the uh, learning, knowledge representation and uh, reasoning works. So these blocks are responsible for serving like humans through all the knowledge data and discovering the relevant ones to offer to the learn model whenever it is needed. So knowledge representation and reasoning show the human-like intelligence in the machines. Knowledge representation is all about understanding intelligence. Its goal is to understand and build intelligent behavior from the top down and focus on what an agent needs to know in order to behave intelligently. So also it defines how automated reasoning procedures can make this knowledge uh, available as uh, needed. Then the planning execution. When we get the complete knowledge and able to represent it, then we plan a system. So these blocks means the planning and execution uh, blocks are independent blocks that can work in tandem. They use to take the information from the knowledge block and the reasoning block. So based on it, they execute a relevant action. The planning and execution components depend on the analysis of knowledge representation and reasoning. It means this block. These both steps depend on uh, this block. Here, planning includes giving in the initial stage, finding their uh, preconditions and effects and sequences of actions to achieve the state in which a particular goal holds. Now, once the planning is completed, the final stage is the execution of the uh, entire process. Now, the whole cycle will be executed. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Again, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe it and press the bell icon also like and share my videos to others that knowledge may be spread to our society take care stay blessed